Hello, I'm here in my front garden and as I hope you can see, there isn't that much between my garden and right in the distance, Banai Brakainiog and the valleys in between. And last night, Storm Betty decided to visit the village and I had no idea that we were due a storm. The first I knew about it was when the wind started howling through my window and it woke me up. The wind whooshes down the side of my house and into the back garden, which makes it quite vulnerable to windy weather. And we have had some flattened crops as a result of last night's storm. So the wind comes right down that valley here. This is um, a temporary fence that I have up to stop any wandering sheep getting into my garden. Not very attractive, but it does the job. And the wind went crash into my beans. So some of the sweet corn has been knocked over. But these beans are at a very jaunty angle. see where the wind has crashed into these multi-sown leaks too they should bounce back now what I need to do with these beans is prop it back up again but as you can uh, see from the wind here <laughs> that isn't a job for today but I must admit I am very relieved that my son is six foot three and he's going to be really handy for propping the beans back up just look at those oh I don't mean I'm going to use him as the bean post I mean, um, he'll be handy for helping me put more posts in. I don't think he'd agree to me making him stand in the garden till the beans were finished. Oh, goodness me. Do you know, I am so relieved that I didn't have the time yesterday, because my daughter's visiting, to get the planting done that I had planned. Because I think the poor little plants, which were due to go in all these gaps, uh, in the greenhouse mostly, a few down here. I think they'd have been flattened by last night. So these beans here, not so bad. I think they'll keep standing. And then mostly it's okay. I'm going past the greenhouse where you can see I've got lots of plants waiting to go out and into the orchard, which some of these things here by the compost bins uh, were blown about last night, including my bakashi, which I was cleaning out. But the orchard is much more protected. I have these enormous oak trees and beech and a few, uh, some um, birches as well at the top of the orchard. And they really, really help to protect the garden here, much more than the more exposed back garden. As you might imagine, when I was lying in bed last night, I was thinking, oh no, my polytunnel, I hope it's all right. And I couldn't remember what I'd fastened and what was likely to fly about. But I was not going to go out at three o'clock in the morning, in the dark, in the pouring rain and the high winds to see how the garden was. So I just had to listen to all the crashing. But fortunately, pretty much everything is okay in the larger area that I grow in, which we call the orchard because it has apple trees in it. Fortunately, there's no damage at all to the trees. Quite a few apples have been blown to the ground. So I'm going to make the most of it not actually raining at the moment and gather up what I can. I'll use them in a chutney or something like that. Thrilled that the polytunnel is absolutely fine. I've seen photos today on social media of people who've sadly lost their polytunnel. This isn't to do with the storm, but do you see these beans here? This actually is a bed of plants for dying cloth, not dying death. Um, these beans are growing from where I cut the beans down at root level when I ha finished harvesting them. And uh, they've just decided to grow again. So 
I'm leaving them to do their thing. We'll get a few free beans that way. This is the most damaged part of the orchard, so it's not bad at all, really. It's at a jaunty angle, really should be more upright, but I'm pretty sure it's going to stay up, and I don't mind if they grow at a weird angle. I have started to get blight now on the potatoes, but there's nothing I can do about that today. I'll cut the foliage and pop it in the compost, hopefully later on if the wind dies down or tomorrow. It's uh, due to just rain pretty much all day here. I keep the doors open in the polytunnel for ventilation all the time at this time of year. So any wind just blew straight through. Everything is looking absolutely fine. This tree is a peach tree. It's a Welsh peach tree. Pears have been blown off the little pear tree. I'm definitely going to rescue those because I don't have many pears and it's the first time the pear tree has gone to fruit here. One thing I was really worried about last night was that this would blow over because they're quite flimsy uh, staging inside this large uh, cage. These are brassicas for planting out. Some of them are perennials. These are mostly perennials and these are all annuals. At the back there, those brassicas I bought, I bought um, some transplants from an organic company to replace the ones that were eaten by slugs that I mentioned in an earlier video because it's too late to sow Brussels sprouts now. So again, I was due to be planting this area out and actually I'm really, really glad that I didn't get that done in the next day or so. These beans are also at jaunty angle, but I think there's enough in the ground for them to stay upright, hopefully, until they're harvested in the autumn. These are a drying bean. I'll be saving the bean for using through the winter, not eating the pods. Um, I hope if Storm Betty visited your garden that it has survived OK. And do you know, I really, really would like some proper summer weather because it is really just like we've gone from spring to autumn and they've missed out on summer altogether so as a result I'm actually grateful for anything that is growing here in Wales